Leslie wishes she could be here herself to give you these presents, but she's suspended. Oh, and also she said that they're not from her, they're from Santa Claus. Can I go first? <laughs> Mouse rat, certified gold. Over 100 copies sold in Pawnee. I need to get a picture of me holding this so I can frame it. Personalized leopard printed robe, pink feather cuffs, and on the back in rhinestones, you can get it. I know you're sad you couldn't get tickets to the Watch the Throne tour, so I got you a watch and a tiny throne instead. And check it out, she even took out the dumb clock part and put this in. Baller time. These are the Black Eyed Peas. And I finally killed them. It's a Christmas miracle. Every year, I give Leslie the same present I give everyone, a crisp $20 bill. And every year she gets me something thoughtful and personal. It makes me furious. This year, she outdid herself. She had it installed over the weekend. It's so, it's so beautiful. If you look inside your bags, you will find a few things. A bouquet of hand crocheted flower pens, a mosaic portrait of each of you made from the crushed bottles of your favorite diet soda, and a personalized 5,000 word essay of why you're all so awesome. JJ's Diner put an old waffle iron up for auction. It's the perfect breakfast date gift for Leslie. Breakfast day? Leslie has anniversaries for everything. Zoo day, the first time we went to the zoo together. Double date day, was the first time we went on a double date. Daniel Day-Lewis day. Talk like a pirate day. Talk like a Pittsburgh pirate day, which why and how. This calendar was last year's calendar day present, celebrating the first time she ever bought me a calendar. <sighs> Well, the honeymoon was amazing. We saw the bus stop where young Barack Obama used to sit and wait for the bus, theoretically. That's possible. Then we went and visited Honolulu City Hall. <gasps> Shut up. You know. Oh my god, what was it like? It was amazing. Well, it looked amazing, but it was closed. Oh my god, bummer. Okay, I have presents. Um, Chris, we got you an acai tree because the acai berry is a superfood. And a super gift. Donna, we got you some coffee because you said, and I quote, I like my coffee like I like my man, dark, rich, and full-bodied. Yes, indeed. And we got you some very rare Hawaiian fertility tea, guaranteed to help you have a baby. That's so nice. Where'd you find that? Well, the busboy at our restaurant um, told us about a guy who we met in a parking lot, and then he had a backpack full of this stuff, and I'm just realizing now that it's not tea, and I'm gonna throw it away. Ron, this is the Hawaiian god of anger. It reminded us of you when you're at work. A handsome gentleman. We did not forget Jerry. Right, we right, got right. Jerry some earbuds and a bag of peanuts and the SkyMall catalog. Same thing you got me from your trip to Washington. Tom, we got you an autographed portrait of your personal hero. <gasps> no way! Scott Cobb from Hawaii 5 0 April, as requested, we threw that box you gave us into that volcano. Thank you. Andy, as you requested, got you a three-pack of white t-shirts from Target. Thank you! All mine are dirty. Thank you, Hawaii. Happy anniversary. So I know we agreed on no gifts. What? But I did get you a gift. No. A bunch of them, actually. I was going to surprise you with them yesterday, but they never reached you. <clears throat> oh, my effin' God. <gasps> you planned all of this for me? An enchanted carriage? This is amazing. Oh, and your scrapbook instincts are really good. I mean, this is a little rough, but you have a lot of talent here. Oh, I can't believe I actually defeated Leslie Nope at a gift exchange. Yes. Uh, yeah. About that. Happy anniversary. <gasps> it's the Iron Throne. <gasps> it's the Iron Throne. Yes. It is. I had a guy at the model store make a replica. He's a bigger Game of Thrones fan than you are. OK, I know I'm making that dumb surprise face, but I can't help it. This is the greatest gift I've ever received, Leslie. When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. Yes. No. Yes. No. Come here. Come here, though, peasant. Come here. Who are you? Our starship is in trouble. OK, Leslie, listen, if you're not, if you don't know what you're talking about. Good morning, Ron. Good morning. I know how much you enjoy paperwork, but don't hover. Nice bench, is that new? 
No, that's been there since the 90s. What are you doing for your birthday on Friday? Nothing. I never do. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, God. Birthday, birthday, birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, and I know when it is. Ron refuses to tell anyone when his birthday is. He's even had it redacted on all government documents. Three years of investigations, phone calls, Freedom of Information Act requests, and still I had nothing. Until a well-placed bribe to a gentleman at Baskin Robbins revealed. Ron's birthday is on Friday. Damn it, I was so careful. Ah, you blew it. All for a free scoop of rum raisin. Was it worth it, Ron? Was it? I command you to do nothing. I'm not gonna do nothing. I'm gonna do something. And it's gonna be really big. I have a lot of years to make up for. Hey, did you hear the news? Ben and Chris want us to go in a conference room seat for a meeting. Let's get this over with. Happy birthday, Ron. Anne said you had a big party. Sombreros, karaoke. Yeah, I did that for Anne. Why would I throw Ron Swanson and Ann Perkins' party? What about the giant list of things April was doing? That was just a list of ways to mess with you. She do them all? She did indeed. So, I have rented Bridge on the River Kwai and the Dirty Dozen. Artie from security is outside the door, so no one will bother you. And a cab will be here whenever you're ready to take you home. Thank you. What do you mean you can't? Look, I am throwing a farewell party for my best friend, Ann Perkins, and if she casually mentioned three years ago that she thought indoor fireworks would be cool, then guess what? You're gonna give me indoor fireworks. Tonight's biggest surprise is five years in the making. It all goes back to when I first met my best friend. I'm here to talk about the abandoned lot on Sullivan Street. I've been trying to get this thing fixed for months, and it's government owned, and you need to do something about it. I will help you. Is that a promise? It's more than a promise. It's a pinky promise. That promise launched a friendship so grand, it takes 103 scrapbooks to capture it. I have secretly arranged to officially break ground on Pawnee Commons at midnight, fulfilling my pinky promise that I made five years ago. Oh, ice cream sandwich taste test. That was our biggest fight. Victory at last! Woo! All right. You're all set. Okay, I am gonna call the uh, official ceremonial ribbon cutting guy because I think we may have missed him. What are you doing? It's for the raccoons. You have to hiss really loud and stomp your feet so they'll leave you alone. And if one comes close, make yourself really large, like a puffer fish. Well, I don't think this ceremonial ribbon cutting guy is gonna make it. Either he flaked or he tripped and impaled himself on his own giant scissors. We wait for no man. Let's do this. One, One two, three. three. Oh. Woo! 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 <laughs> all right, I got my park. That's all I wanted from you. Friendship over. <laughs> <laughs> don't even joke about that, Anne. Okay, time for gifts. We have gift certificates for facials for everybody. Then you are going to get a needlepoint pillow with your face on it and the lead headline from a newspaper on the day you were born. Joseph Stalin dies. That's right, Mom, and you replaced him. Not in terms of genocide, just in terms of, you know, being on Earth. Happy, Happy Waffle Day! Oh, my God! Breakfast day, waffle day joint present I have ever received. Wow, thank you so much. You're welcome. But Anne and I wanted to tell you that this is the last breakfast day and waffle day we'll be celebrating. Wait, what? Oh my God, you're both dying. No, no, we just can't keep up with all the anniversaries. It's too much, especially because you're so good at them. I don't know better at them than you are. That's ridiculous, I'm so much better, point taken. But we have a compromise. Every year, there will be one day, Anne Day, where you can celebrate all of Anne's holidays, and Ben Day, where we can celebrate all of ours. What about Anne Month and Ben Month? How about a week? Fine. We went in with a day, figuring she'd counter with a month. We were fine with a week. But there will be a third week. It will be called Friend Week. It will be commemorating this week, the week that my two best friends became each other's best friends. I have a Friend Week present for you right now. Here you go. Why did you already have these? Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.